to research those individuals who I discovered through my through my quest for information about what was life like. What were the early neighborhoods? What were the early communities like? Where did black people live? You know, how did they get here to California? Those questions are not included in the in the Eurocentric history books. However, those questions and the answers can be found in the Images of America book series, African Americans of San Jose and Santa Clara County by author Jan Batiste Atkins. The book chronicles the first black pioneers arrived in California in the late 1700s to what was then Spain's territory. We have the presence of people of African heritage in who came to San Jose specifically in 1777. Those black pioneers came aboard Spanish ships as laborers on expeditions, as soldiers, and as miners. That history is documented, preserved, and on display in San Jose's San Pedro Square. These were uh, people of African heritage that lived in Mexico, intermarried with the Mexicans, and came to, to San Jose as pobladores or farmers citizens to help establish the, early, the very first town in the state of California, California at the time. Atkins says back then, Spaniards called mixed race black people mulattoes. And as you can see here, this ship's manifest recorded having several mulatto passengers on board. African uh, Mexican, African Spaniards, African Indians, there were, there were people, African whites, these were people who were mixed race with African heritage. And there were many of them. Free blacks came as settlers. Others were brought there as slaves. Those enslaved were later freed with the help of abolitionists from the church. The very first black church was established in 1863. One of the most notable African American historical figures here in the South Bay is Emmanuel Sam McDonald, who in 1919 purchased 430 acres of land here in La Honda, and by doing so became the first black man to own property in the California Redwoods. Sam McDonald was a originally from Gilroy. He donated his land to Stanford University and it is now a beautiful park named after him in San Mateo County. I have to say, as a black man, I felt this sense of pride when I saw his face here at the visitor center. What, what do you hope folks take away after reading your books? I hope that people will have a, a, a broad understanding of not only African-American history, but the, how African-Americans intersected with other cultural groups in the Valley. I, I think that it's really important to, to understand that we all coexisted together. We're all linked together. <laughs> Hazik Madyun, Cron 4 News. And join Cron 4 as we celebrate Black History Month. Pam Moore will host our 30-minute special honoring Black History, Mind, Body, Soul. That airs Thursday, February 24th at 6.30 p.m.